Economic news from the UK just keeps getting better. We've just had the biggest ever quarterly increase in employment. The unemployment rate has fallen to 7.1%. But the big worry, Britain's recovery, is mainly consumer driven. I'm pretty optimistic about the recovery really. I think it's uh, quite broadly based. What I'd really like to see to make me feel entirely at ease would be a, a growth in business investment. As, as well as what thus far seems to be led by consumer spending and uh, maybe the housing market. Another big worry, interest rates still at record lows, but Mark Carney at the Bank of England said he'd look to raise rates once unemployment fell to 7%. If Carney and the committee want to keep rates lower for longer and keep rate expectations lower for longer, they're going to have to do something because we may well hit the 7% threshold within two or three months. Uh, whereas originally they were predicting that wouldn't happen for the first for the two years. But then you have this problem of credibility. If you start tinkering uh, with the threshold guidance, for, for example, then people start to think, oh, right, so what value does it have? Concern number three, sterling sat a five-year high against the dollar. It's getting too strong for the sake of the UK economy, and the Bank of England has also made mention of that. There could be more to come, because given the way forward guidance was phrased in the UK, talking about a 7% threshold, you know, it's entirely possible that we hit, we hit that pretty quickly, quite frankly. So I fear there's greater sterling strength to come, unless we see a significant... Uh, uh, if you like, um, adaptation of the forward guidance.